You wouldn't think on a day like today that's nice and bright that we'd be thinking that far ahead to spring. But now is the time we need to concentrate on spring. And the reason for that is because spring is quite a dark time and there's not a lot of colour in the garden. But if we do a little bit of thought now, we can bring colour into the garden and we can do that with spring bulbs. And that's what I'm going to be showing you in this episode. I'm Tony O'Neill, this is UK Year We Grow. On this channel we deal with all things gardening, poultry keeping and beekeeping. If it's your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button and bell icon to be notified each time we put out new content just like this. So as I've said, spring is typically quite a dark, dull time. There's not a lot of colour in the garden. And with that in mind, I've actually planted all of this area that has the figs, the goji berries and a couple of the small trees, strawberries and things like that. We've absolutely plastered this with about three or 400 bulbs. So they'll come through the ground in early spring and we'll have a succession. So really from maybe mid February, right the way through to May, there should be some color here. And then the figs will start to come into leaf and things like that. So the idea is, is to get something in the ground early to give you that color so that the summer stuff can come through and you've got a little bit of color there to go all the way through. So another way that we can get some colour in the garden is to plant these bulbs into containers. It's a great way of doing that. Now, I'd like to show you how we go about it. Now, when you plant in a pot, if we were to put a few of these daffodil bulbs in a pot, in early sort of February or March, we'd have some nice colour from the daffodils. We'd have a nice yellow daffodil, job done, nice bunch of colours but then it dies back and you just end up with all the foliage and it's not a lot of colour in there. So what we want to do is look at building what's known as a layer or a lasagna and I have an example here that I have done to show you. So first off we have some tulips then above those we have some daffodils then we have some narcissus then we have some leocogium and then on top we have some crocuses. So we have five layers and these bulbs all flower at different times. So we'll have a continuous supply of flowers coming through from early February right the way through to um, probably mid to late May. So, and that makes the most out of that container. And then in late May, we can plant that up with something else. So we're gonna get now and plant one of these containers in this sort of configuration using the bulbs that we have on the desk there. And I'm gonna take you through that one step at a time. As you can see, I have a nice big terracotta pot. This is really big. And in the bottom of it, we have a nice hole. Now, if you didn't have a pot with a hole in, then you would need to be using bulb planting compost like we did in the hyacinth video and I'll put a link up here for that video but because we have a hole in this we can use normal multi-purpose compost because we have the drainage what we need to do though is to use some crocs and we need to block over that hole to stop the soil from clogging it something like that and then we want to put just I might even break that one down just a bit of a curve on it not use it there we go that's more like it something like that okay so what we need to do now is put a thin layer of compost and like I said I'm just using a multi-purpose compost here and we're only gonna put a thin layer in here something like that now our very first bulb as we already spoke about is tulips and I have a mix of colors here I'm gonna put all the names for all of the bulbs in the description guys so if you want to know which ones we're using go down we got it for our tulips we have a mix of three different varieties and they're all a dark color um, purples a dark sort of brunette color. There's all sorts of colors here. Now, when you're planting these, ideally, they don't want to be touching each other. 
and they don't want to be touching the side of the tub either guys okay so nestle them down and you want to like i said this is a really big tub but you want to get them in there guys because the more you've got the better display you're going to have and this is our very first layer One more in you. There we go. So we've got our first layer of tulips. We then need to put on a layer of soil on top or compost on top of these. Now we don't need to add any extra feed because the bulbs are already carrying everything they need. Our next thing are our large daffodils and again we need to put these not touching anything and don't worry about the layer below because they will find their own way through they will bend around any that are a bit soft throw them out don't use them guys they'll just rot okay there we go so again there's our next layer again we now need to cover these over with some compost and this is all it is to it we are building up the layers okay and this is going to give us continual growth right throughout the season the next we're going to use are these narcissus and we are going to put a nice layer of these in also and down to our next layer okay so we've got our next bulb now and we want to settle these in because they are long and they've already started to sprout so we really need to get them in and I don't want to be getting too far up the bulb, up the uh, pot, because I've got other stuff that I want to put in here, which we will talk about in a moment. Here we are. Some more soil in there now. So that's our fourth layer. We'll now put our fifth layer in you guys. Which are these crocuses? And again, it's just a case of sticking them in anyway. just like that I think put one more here here we go so there's our last layer as far as those go so all we need to do now is top off the pot but we haven't quite finished yet because it's all well and good having these pots sat in now waiting for spring but they're not very pretty at the moment okay so that'll do us for the moment. We'll top it up again in a minute. So 
So what I have here now are three primroses and I'm literally just going to plant these in the top here like this and they're going to fill out this pot now throughout the next couple of months. So all we need to do for that is put a little hole here, bed him in and put some compost around him. We'll top these up in a moment. And these will just provide us with a little bit of colour for now so that the pot doesn't look so bare. And then once they die back these can be taken out ready for all the bulbs to come through. There you have it guys, there it is, one spring bulb lasagna pot, like I said it's a large pot, all we need to do now is give this a little drink and it will be golden, so just flatten this down now around the edges just so that they can hold the water. So there we have it guys, one large terracotta pot all planted up in a lasagna method for bulbs. I do have an article on our website and the link will be in the description for that on this as well because we do this every single year. I just never made a video about it. I hope this video has been of interest for you. How many of you plant bulbs in the spring and do you plant them in tubs or in the ground? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd be really interested in to know what varieties you're actually growing as well this spring. So put all your comments down there and any tips you have for anybody else. I'm Tony O'Neill, this is UK Here We Grow, and remember folks, you reap all you sow. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.